Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the operation on functions. Last time, we have uploaded a video on how to do evaluating functions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Basically guys, um, ano bang ibig sabihin ng operations and functions? Operation and functions simply includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And also, if you want to do this kind of topic or this kind of skill, it is a must na alam mo kung paano gumamit ng loss of exponents. You know how to evaluate expressions at alam mo rin kung paano gumamit ng PEMDAS. So let's have these examples. So we have here, given the three functions, we have three functions guys. The first is function f, function g, and function h. Our function f is f of x is equal to x plus 5. Again, function f, f of x is equal to x plus 5. And for the function g, function g, g of x is equal to 2x minus 1. And we have here h of x is equal to 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. So this is the first set. Again, this is the first set of our given examples wherein uh, ito yung format niya, tapos later on sa next part ng ating video, I'll be giving you another four examples for us to deal with with regards to this function or to this uh, topic. So let's start with number one. Determine the following. We have here f plus g of x. Again, f plus g of x. Sir, what does it mean? Ang ibig sabihin nito guys, you need to add the function f and function g. And by definition, guys, let me have this in a space. By definition, yung f of x, yung f of f plus g of x natin is equal to f of x plus g of x. Wherein, sir, paano ba ginagawa yan? See, di ba, siya. By definition, f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x. Ngayon, para makuha mo or determine mo yung hinihingi sa atin dito, you need to go back with the given functions. Puntahan mo dito. Remember that your f of x is this one. f of x is equal to x plus 5, meaning you can substitute x plus 5 to replace f of x. You will replace f of x by x plus 5. So it will become x plus 5. And for the g of x, Going back with the given and with the given functions, your g of x is equal to 2x minus 1. Meaning, you can replace g of x here by 2x minus 1. So, that'll be natin siya plus 2x minus 1. And then, right after substituting the values of these functions, you will combine like terms. Again, combine like terms. So, we have here x plus 2x that will give you 3x. Okay? They are like terms. And 5 minus 1 is simply plus 4. Ibig sabihin, guys, your f plus g of x is equal to 3x plus 4. Again, 3x plus 4. So, ayun yung sagot natin. Ito yung mismo sagot natin. Lagyan natin siya dito. Is equal to 3x plus 4. Okay? So, buhayin ko itong example na natin, itong solution natin. Okay, for number 2, we have f minus g. This one is subtraction. Subtraction of functions. So by definition, you are adding f minus g of x is simply f of x minus g of x. Ngayon, maging careful tayo dito guys kasi meron tayong subtraction. So, Copy nyo yung value ng ating f of x, which is x plus 5. And then, minus, for the g of x, uh, hindi nyo pwede ilagay agad-agad na 2x minus 1. 
you would put your 2x minus 1 inside the parentheses. Because we need to multiply this sign. Negative times negative, positive, and negative times negative, uh, sorry, negative times positive is negative, negative times negative is positive. So kung mapansin mo, mamabago lahat ng sign nito. And it will become x plus 5 plus, uh, sorry, this is minus 2x plus 1. Again, paano nangyari minus 2x plus 1? Negative times ne positive, that is negative 2x. Negative times negative 1, that is positive 2x. And then combine like terms. Combine like terms. Ang like terms natin ay x tapos negative 2x. That will give you negative x. Tapos, kaya siya naging negative guys because um, the absolute value of 2 is greater than the absolute value of 1. We have here 5 plus 1, that is plus 6. Ibig sabihin niyo guys, yung f minus g natin of x is equal to negative x plus 6. So, ito yung maging sagot natin, okay? So, I hope na nagets gets nyo yung solution natin. So, this one is equal to negative x plus 6. Okay? So, let's... Now, for item number 3, guys, we are given f times g of x. This is multiplication for multiplying functions. So, what we will do here, syempre, Yung f of g, f times g natin of x is defined as f of x times g of x. So what we will do guys here is to get the value of f of x which is x plus 5. And then syempre, this is multiplication. We will enclose this by parenthesis. This one is also by parenthesis times 2x minus 1. So, you know, we can multiply this by FOIL method or distributive property. So, first terms mo tayo, x times 2x, that will give you 2x squared. And this one, I'm ah, sorry, x times negative 1, that is negative x or negative 1x, tapos 5 times 2x, that will give you plus 10x, okay? And then 5 times negative 1, that is minus 5. So what you will do here is to combine like terms. Ito yung dalawang terms natin sa gitna. They are the like terms. So what we will have here is we have 2x squared, negative x plus 10x, that is plus 9x minus 5. So, ito na yung simplified form natin. Ibig sabihin yan, your f times g of x is simply equal to 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. So, this is the uh, final answer for letter C. So, let's erase this one. I copy ko muna. We have 2x squared minus 9x. Oh, sorry, plus 9x minus 5. Okay? So, let's erase this one. Now, for item number 4, so, iba naman to. We have h over g of x. This is dividing functions. So, yung ating h over g of x is defined as h of x over g of x. We're in division to guys. We need to copy h of x. Your h of x is 2x squared plus 9x minus 5 over your g of x, which is 2. Which is 2x minus 1. Okay? So... Ganda yan guys, um, ang gagawin natin dito guys is to simplify this rational expression or this full expression wherein we can do factoring. Pero may notice na ako guys ha, itong number, itong f of g, f of x natin or g of x natin are the factors of this expression. 
Papansin niya. Kasi nakita ko, yung sagot natin for letter C is ito yung shell. Tapos when we multiply this, this is the product. Pero, syempre, hindi naman laging ganito mga encounter niya. I will teach you how to factor out this kind of expression. If you have 2x squared plus 9x minus 5, para i-factor mo to, kailangan i-multiply mo muna to. Um, this is uh, 2 times negative 5, that is negative 10. Ngayon, you will think, again, you will think of the factors of negative 10 that can give you positive 9. So what is that? So akin na isip agad na that is uh, 10 times negative 1. Because 10 times negative 1 is negative 10. Pero ang 10 plus negative 1, that will give you positive 9. So what will happen is that ito, um, yung 2x squared natin, Okay, 2x squared natin, kopyahin natin, and then itong 9x natin, expand natin yung 9x natin bilang 10x minus x. Ginawa natin, ito yun, yung 10, ito yung negative, this is your negative 1. So don't worry guys, so they are equal. 10x minus x is plus 9x, and then minus 5. So we, what we will do here is, we will do factoring by grouping. Okay, factoring by grouping. Ito yung first group natin. Ituruan ko na kayo para mag-factoring eh. Uh, you have 2x squared plus 10x plus negative x minus 5. Okay? So as you can see, common dito, which is 2x. Then by, by, you know, by common mo naman factoring, this is x plus 5. And this one, ang common lang sa kalahin negative 1 or negative. So we will have negative sa labas times x plus 5. Papansin nyo guys, common yung x plus 5. Okay? Common yung x plus 5. So ilabas natin yung x plus 5. And then what will remain is itong 2x natin tapos yung minus dito. That is minus 1. So it will become times 2x minus 1. Ito na yung factors natin. Ito na yung nalagay natin dito. Okay? Okay? So, continue natin to dito. You have, barin ko to guys, eh? You have x plus 5 times 2x minus 1 over 2x minus 1. Barin ko na to. Okay? Now, syempre, ang target natin is to simplify. We need to notice na we have common expressions here. We have 2x minus 1 and then we have 2x minus 1 in your denominator. You can cancel it out cancel it out, and what will remain here is x plus 5. So, ibig sabihin nito guys, yung ating h of g of x is equal to x plus 5. Ayun na mismo siya. Okay? Now, I hope na natuto kayo sa mismong video natin on how to do operations on function. So, in the next part of our video, I'll be uploading Again, I'll be uploading a new video where in a focus din ay operations and function pero meron ng specific value ang bawat variable. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher God. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!